Hi, it's Robert and Brad with the Clarity uh, Digital Clip of the Week, and we're talking with Bill Peel with 40 years of experience of marketing and branding experience. That's correct. So I know one of your favorite topics is the accidental brand. How does that happen? Well, it, it is my favorite topic, Robert, because I think if you're not careful with a business, and actually with your personal brand, for that matter, yeah. and you don't uh, protect it, and are not intentional with your decisions around your brand, that you're going to end up with whatever brand the marketplace assigns to you. And um, that can sometimes work in your favor, and other times it can be disastrous. So the, the real message is think very strategically and very intentionally about all of your brand decisions, everything from the, the color to the mark to the name. And I know in today's world we've got a wide range of names that have popped up, like Uber and Google and Amazon, and you know, it's almost any name goes today mm -hmm. in today's yeah. world. But I will say that you want to make very sure that you're extremely intentional about it. You understand all the implications. And on an international level, uh, how does it translate? There are words and there are marks that work very well in Western culture. And then you go to Europe or you go to the Pacific Rim or you go to Latin America and it takes on a whole entirely different connotation. So the, the message is to be very intentional about your brand. Where do you start? Well, you know, you start with a great name. And um, I think that, that uh, you guys have a fabulous name. I love it, as you know. But uh, you start with your name. and I He think helped us create it. Yeah. One, know, one day on a day whiteboard. On, one day on a whiteboard. Well, I, I think the, the key is, is that you have, your name should reflect what you do. Now, there are people that will look around and say, well, why does Amazon reflect a, a massive distribution company? Or what does Uber have to do with cars? Or, well, when you introduce a name like that, uh, one of these uh, new millennial type names, you really have to have a strong rationale behind it and explain what that means. So it's really best if your name is reflective of what you do or right. more importantly, reflective of your value proposition. I mean, what are you delivering to the marketplace? In your case, you're adding clarity to, right. to, to people's business. So I think you start with a good name. I think you then start with keeping it very simple. I, what I see more often is... Uh, is brands that are too heavily articulated. There's too many lines, too many, too many messages, too many taglines. Sometimes you'll have a very simple name, and then the taglines, you know, a sentence long, trying yeah. to explain. Just so muddies if, the water. If you have to explain that much about the mark or about the name, you probably need to go back and revisit the name. 